Infectious diseases are caused by microbes. These are small organisms which are invisible with a naked eye and invade your body to get multiplied. The symptoms caused by an infection depend on the location, nature of the infection and type of the microbe. The two major types of microbes are the bacteria and the virus. Viruses are the smallest in size of all the microbes. They are able to attack almost any living organism. A virus uses another organism like a human being as a host. It means that the virus invades a cell of the body and uses parts of the cell to multiply itself. In this way, hundreds of new viruses are produced, which can spread throughout the body. They can also infect new organisms. Viruses can't survive outside the body of the host for long. They can only survive a few seconds to minutes after leaving the host. Bacteria are much larger than viruses. They live almost everywhere and many of them don't cause infection. A bacterium multiplies itself by division. If the conditions are favourable, temperature, nutrition, some bacteria can multiply after every 20 minutes. Your intestines contain large number of bacteria. Normally, these bacteria don't cause any problem. Actually, they're quite useful in various ways, like digestion. But if you have weak immunity, the balance may become disturbed and complaints like diarrhea, constipation or cramps may occur. Viruses and some bacteria can cause infections. Locally, an infection causes redness and swelling. The tissue may also become warm and painful. Common symptoms of a viral or bacterial infection are fever, fatigue and general malaise. Mostly, viral infection is simple and the complaints subside by themselves. It is difficult to eliminate viruses. Specific medicines have been developed only for certain viruses. Also, an infection usually resolves by itself. If this is not the case, the physician can prescribe antibiotics. An antibiotic is only effective against a bacterium, not against a virus. It is important to prevent the spread of microbes. Good hygiene can play an important role in prevention. Regularly wash your hands and cover your mouth with tissue paper or cloth whenever you cough or sneeze. Take proper care of little wounds by disinfecting with iodine or alcohol.